Welcome to fucking Tom Brady. You witness right now a game from 1996. It was groundbreaking, revolutionary. It was one of the best because of tits. When you can call it tits. Wonderful shaped. I'm proud. I'm a proud woman. I have big boobs. My boobs are so big that my back hurt. And that makes us proud. That's <laughs> what I'm talking here. Tom Ryder. Ladies and gentlemen, I thought no way with Tom Ryder won this game here. This one. I have a few friends say to me, hey, did you remember Tom Ryder won? This was crazy. This was so good. And I said, no. Or he said, oh, I want a Tom Ryder again. I said, no. Game concept outdated. I was wrong, right? I was really wrong. There's a little bit more behind this game than I remember. It was groundbreaking. No logical. After N64, a founding process, how to implement good camera movement and stuff like that. After that, many copy things from this game. Back in the day, they say Doom clones. And yeah, you, you was able to say Tom Ryder clones for a moment. And now, after almost 20 years, all games are easy peasy, lemon squeezy, playable. From beginner to professional, everyone into intuitive know what to press on the gamepad in the right moment but we lost also a bit little bit of the magic from these old games anyway by the way game concept that i consider would not work anymore it's because maybe i just remember tom brother for wow 3d woman and climb cool caves auto shooting auto aim that fit the gameplay there was no nothing to copy there was no orientation not much but here now in vr i can shoot with my hand this is nothing new uh, we have tomb raider in vr now right we've been holding on for two weeks but this is for pc now yeah since the new update you are able to play it not just on your standalone headset so there is not a standalone headset required to play this in vr now that means everyone can play now uh, tomb raider in virtuality no matter which VR device you are owning. The running in place software activated <laughs> and the jumping is so difficult. So you need to find the right timing, you need to press press early, jump and in combination with run in place I'm scared that I'm not uh, able to accelerate. I will turn it off from time to time when it's, when I, when I, when, when it's getting too high. The jump sections, uh, yeah, climbing jump sections. You will see in my face. <laughs> well, it's in the R, so I can, you know, you have a few benefits. We are put everything on your motion control. Like this little monitor with one to one aspect resolution. So it's actually perfect now. Not too big. Small. Meta is great. Try Oculus Dash and you will see. Wow. Oculus Dash is perfect. Which uh, which desktop? Perfect controls everything. Oculus Dash is better than the software that is called Virtual Desktop. Virtual Desktop is a quest. The how to say it that you virtual desktop I'm meaning right now. This is the Oculus Dash. This is also a virtual desktop. I shouldn't see this. Oh, you don't see my monitor. This is good. Stay proud. So this is the second monitor. You see them. And here's another monitor. You don't see. And what I can do here you hold with the grip button and you press forward, backward with the right stick. You can make big, small. Why is this not the case in virtual desktop? I think this is 10 times better than software virtual desktop, where everything is switching the windows. And look, I have two windows here. You don't see the second window yet. Now you can see it. There are actually two here. I see both at the same time, all day long here, but there is a height function here. So, moon two displays here this is also not working with virtual desktop and look grab and you use the sticks it is this you can't tell me this is better on virtual desktop ever. or on steam vr steam vr is also good in this case but there are other nice benefits in vr there's a software by the way where i need to run it's a software that needs steam vr and i can't use it with openxr oculus that's a shame and I wish there would be a similar pro software application for standalone quest that allows me to move like that in 
almost all games of now, yeah, um, the stick is only working when I really move while in place. I want to do this in all games. It's just so nice. Maybe I will spend money for tracker to do the real thing. A track not so interesting for me, but maybe you can convince me. <laughs> Send me a treadmill for free. I try it and maybe you can convince me that a treadmill is cool. But actually the, the mind is thinking about that you need to climb in every time and climb out every time. Oh no, I need to go to the toilet. Shit, man. And this feels not so, uh, sounds not so comfortable. So, okay, I should start focusing a little bit. We need the key. We need weed just to revive. We need to swim, swim. dive, migrate. Very dangerous, but if you need to do it, my problem, I remember correctly. Another thing you can't uh, climb when you're holding weapons, but I saw a video recently because of this here, that you can jump higher when you hold weapons. Actually jump really a little bit higher, long you hold, but you can't climb, like that. I'm just holding the right trigger, and here again I hold the right trigger, pick it up. Come right, a topic. Um, what I want to discuss or speak about is also this texture. This is not how I remember the game, and many of you play this on PlayStation. So it's really worth to try, turn off filtering, and you get this pixelated look. And this feels directly to me a little bit more original. Also, I'm not 100% sure, but it seems to be the textures I get broke by this filtering. And uh, the edges gets way too obvious. And filtering it on. And this breaks the immersion. Especially now when you say VR and see it with your own eyes. So I turn on uh, filtering again to demonstrate what I'm meaning. It's these big obvious lines here. This obvious ugly lines, edges of the textures. They are fucking obvious because of filtering. So I really need to make a decision. If I want this smooth look, this is fucking edges and broken textures. Or should we try it? We keep it original. So that the classic pixelated look that people also prefer in Doom, by the way. There are some Doom freaks. Doom freaks. Well, not really. But I like really uh, to test the Doom mods and virtuality. It was a big thing for me. And there was not many people worldwide that did this. At, when I did this. Okay. So it was really, yeah. Something new to try, um, modification in virtuality. Well, so this is just normal gaming stuff, not uh, designed for virtuality. Oh god, look here, I need to run and jump, press jump early, way earlier than you would expect. Press, no, not straight enough. When you're quick, you can jump here. Ah, oh, I pressed it too late. I actually don't press straight, but for this game, it's too late. I will be struggling to solve, solve these puzzles. Oh, I did the backflip finally. But how? Not intentionally. Can I just press trigger now? No. Here is. Can't wait for the update where we need to climb in two years or so. <laughs> oh, come on, do it. Just not possible. Finally. So far, I still don't uh, use a uh, media pack. Now I need to pull <laughs> pretty far deep into this. Oh, do I need? Don't need to run? Yeah, V rockers off. Off yet? Now it's on. Now I need to run in place. Did you know that, that they really come up pretty late with the idea to put a female character into this game? Tom Brider was just an Indiana Jones game. All right, there. So and here I should be able to jump up without climbing, because of holding. Never try this. I saw this. Oh God! I really hate this delayed jumping mechanic. Feels like in Bone Labs, and Bone Labs is a virtual reality spiel. Virtual reality game. Well, it is the virtual reality game. Everything on Bone Labs is Bone Works is virtual reality. This is going on everywhere. Yeah, everything is all you would expect from real life. No button presses. Also, thank you. So, see, for this year, for example, you would in Bone Lab, you would stuck here. This is tricking with your mind. There's too much physics in VR. It's not right. They really need all is to found a sweet spot. <laughs> this hot physics, it, it's also <laughs> shitty. But bone rocks and bone naps is the extreme example of virtuality. So you can save here. This was not walking last time, right? 
and I'll play the standalone version just for two levels or so. And it's good that I wait. Now we have an update, room scale. The body is moving with me in my room. That means I can't take a look on my ass anymore. The first version is what it was like a out body experience. Go out of the body in real life. So we need to go back, is it right? Old school, clumsy, the back in business. Kino. Yeah, this should be a game where you can freeze the super sampling. Wait, maybe we, I can do a game now because of Steam VR. In some games that works with Steam VR, you can change uh, the super sampling resolution on the run. Out restart. Crazy. Yeah. Defrauder XR. I need just to focus on this texture here. And you should be able to hit. And I see always a face here in this texture. Drive me crazy, looks like E.T., alien, whatever. Oh man, his eyes are looking to me. Probably this office is with full textures, whatever. Now get sure that the titties touch and, yeah. and otherwise it will not work when you stand like that here. Really need to almost touch the wall with your feet. <coughs> Oh man, need to do this all over again. Let's turn off this. Yeah, I don't need to run and play. Oh, we space warp here? So OpenXR Steam VR has space warp. Interesting. But it's probably the Oculus space warp then. Uh, so complicated. At least our so anti synchron space warp is Open VR. I try a mod by the way. All enemies, enemies. All enemies are Laura Croft. A very hilarious mod, but unfortunately not working. Get an error message when I copy and paste the files. I was also struggling to get out here. First attempt. Wow, the rings look, look still impressive nowadays. I mean, chain reaction. You see the rings also as lights, so. Water waves, rings, whatever. Why I'm doing this? Torturing myself here. With this. Very easy when you know what to do. I can did it, eh? Fucking bitch game. Once you understand all this mechanics, and this should be. The <gasps> what? And on my side. Oh. Yeah. Women have a disadvantage and they have big tits. For example, when I try to shoot now the bird, I can't see the bird because the boobs are too big. And this is an obvious disadvantage. Yeah, I mean the body is not reacting correctly, this virtual body. Do this now. I would be able to see everything. Not this room again. I was not able to get out of the water. No fucking way. I tried everything. It. Oh, is it this head shape? It's an old game. This could be difficult now. This is more oh, nice. All I need. Make progress here. Oh, such an aggressive Batman. Batman. Oh, this game needs a laser sights. Laser points. Or say or something. Damn it. Okay, I'm here again. The switch up. Any purpose? Oh nice. Okay, then move on. We will see soon dinosaurs. I'm not sure if we make any so long ago I can't remember nothing about that day. <laughs> nothing. Just few levels. Maybe I was so young I was cheating and then used level code or so. so. I guess I play until I was not able to continue. Fucking puzzles that drive me crazy. Oh good boy. There's more to explore. A switch here. There's another word for this. Lever or so. I don't know if I pronounce it correctly. Oh, this is the way that we are supposed to go and I have this. Not a key mask or so. 
I wonder if I can do the jump. Probably not. It's too far away. Way too far. To get down here, I should just jump into the water here right? and try. Oh, so hard to do. Need to press jump way earlier, earlier than you would expect. One, one, two, one, one. You can't count the jump delay, but when I press it, one, she should jump. One. One and see the delay. But there is um, pretty similar. The phone works. PVR and you can increase the resolution with the up to the, uh, ridiculously dimension. I thought this gate will be open now. Yeah. I don't give any attention. What's happening? I guess we need to dive for this place. We are now the whose doors are open now. Okay, interesting. I press jump! Damn it. Eh. Old school controls. Oh, we completed that now. No. Eh. Yeah, buddy. Here we are now. Oh, is this man. Yeah. Now I get back. Maybe I was not playing much Tom Raider, just the demo back in there. I don't know. Too long ago. Eh? Yeah, I was not the big Tomb Raider guy. Not really. Maybe it was a time where I really was more spending time with his friend and so on. 1996. No, it's not true. 1996, I was really. Remember Windows 95, man? The first window? This was the area where many people. Families get a PC at home. Uh, another thing is that Tom Rider was just better on PlayStation because of gamepads. It's probably a pain in the ass to play the old version with keyboard. I don't know, but I guess it is. Can at least change buttons, so maybe I'm wrong. Can really change all buttons here. So this should be also the case on the PC version and also version. And playing this gamepad back in the day on PC was also not an easy task. <laughs> dive into this game, we need to dive into. Look at that. Uh, there's water somewhere. Right? Need to go back and dive? No? There's nothing here. But it's good to come back. Maybe I would be really angry when I miss something important here. Still diving. It's weird textures are repeating here. This is Speaking high, I wouldn't be able to do this in real life. Look, I'm in VR now. I see how high this wall is, and she's just jumping up there. No, I won't die here in this wonderful place, the paradise. Oh. You have got a metal pack while you die. Thank you. There are even animals to eat. And you are in But it makes sense. So far, you can get out of here. That's where I come from. That is the reason why this guy died. And you will see now why. Dinosaurs! Wow, he looks really intimidating. What the fuck? You are from 1996? You want to fool me? It looks good, eh? 1996. Oh! Okay! Alter Schwede! Who's been here? Man, I should be ashamed that I not play the original Tomb Raider. Can I just not remember? I ignored this game. I said it's just a concept that wouldn't work again. A concept that would not work nowadays. Was I wrong? But I remember this tedious jump and run actions. This tedious. <laughs> Puzzles and stuff. But I also remember that there was really quick with Tomb Raider 2. There was not much time. There was Tomb Raider 1, and maybe you was not able to play. But then there was already Tomb Raider 2, and Tomb Raider 2 was not really Tomb Raider 1. 
But we was already playing Tomb Raider 2. Oh yeah, it should be the better game. It's the second. Uh, yeah. But actually Tomb Raider 1 is different. You play and you don't shoot against humans. Correct me, man. When I'm wrong. Sorry, I'm not a Tomb Raider nerd. But I just remember visiting my friend. And we played Tomb Raider 2 on PlayStation. Or so. I always thought it's tedious. is jumping and climbing. <laughs> Uh, puzzles. It was too much for my younger self. Winter stuff works almost better in virtual reality. Whoa! <laughs> you don't fit in my apartment. Whoa! I should be remember this section here. Right? I don't remember this. Uh, the truth is, I don't play. I never play Tomb Raider Run seriously. Probably. <clears throat> Talk about a problem here. This uh, water sound. It sounds like there's this, this loop is 100% correct. Now uh, this looping is. I don't know. This water sound here is really annoying. So. Wow. No way. A dead end. Really. This is really a dead end. It sounds like an engine yeah, in this water sound. A switch here. Carefully. Diving and swimming will make you dizzy as we are beginner. Promise you. But for me, motion sickness don't exist. I can do whatever I want, There's, I come never to the podcast, really uncomfortable. And I know how it is to get sick. I was on a boat when I was young and even driving a the car. My parents, when I was young, I would get sick all the time. And maybe because of that, that I get sick in my childhood, I'm now able to play VR. Because every year there was a big drive with the car with the, where, where I get sick, man. For five, five years in a row or so, we drive with the vehicle with the car six hours. I was playing with my Game Boy. And, and that's it, the gentleman. It's the reason that I don't get sick today. I'm virtual reality, at least. <sighs> yeah. But when I was new to VR this year, moved her. When it's too slow, so like that, I, it feels uncomfortable for me. I hate slow move turn. And I'm pretty sure you would also not like the slow turning. Or try fast move turn. And you see an option to increase the, the speed of the smooth turn. Try the fastest. But if you are a beginner, should really play with snap turn. Why not? That's the best is wirelessly and turning physically. But you need also consider when you play competitive gaming, they will use the quick smooth turning. They'll do it. Guys, I don't know how to move on here, so I dive down. And when I look down here, it looks really weird in virtual reality. But uh, this seems to be a little bit open here. It's just a big dinosaur, so he's so cute. I want to pet him, I ride him, or whatever. Would be cool, right? Laura Croft riding T-Rex. Okay, I know what the game wants for me. Oh my goodness, cool. Oh, I missed this game, man. <laughs> Why I not play this back in the day? But I'm 100% sure that I spent much time with the demo. But it feels like playing the first time. I can't remember any of the shit here. Only so the first rooms here and there, door and in the beginning. Probably I played once a few levels and then I stuck and finished and never touched again. Here's my opportunity to ride on this cute uh, dinosaurs. Did you see how the ground is shaking? Each step. In a modern game, the boobs would shake now. That's the reason it's an old school game. The, the titties are not shaking. The, the first female titties ever. Eh. 
Yeah, there was Shanli, maybe. Uh, yeah, there was not much female characters in video games. And especially no main character. It's interesting. I start thinking that Tomb Raider would be also a great game without female protagonists. But of course, it wouldn't get this much attention. Like, what it get back in the day. Because it's. Where? I see two thumbs. Or oh, do I interpret this hand wrong? <laughs> this upside down. Yeah, could be may make more sense. Okay. And now, can't jump here. Anything on the other side, by the way? It was. Seems to be there's one object there. On the other side? I don't know, man. Just save and try it. Oh, this is crazy. And it's a puzzle element. But you really need to do this jump. No matter what, you need to do this jump. Fuck up, eh? I have an unlimited ammo. I can try to kill him. It's tough anymore, eh? Come on, show me your mouse. Oh, he is. Shit. Thought I can land on this edge. This is pretty open here. We can explore and farm stuff. We guess a medipack? No? Shotgun. Chels. So, where can we make use of this wheel that I found? Oh, really? Did you pick it up? Okay, we should save now and then we make progress. I start feeling this love. Oh, no, no. So I lost in this type of wood. Let's go. Going on here. Sounds not good. Dinosaurs under the floor here. Glitch out enemy or so. I don't see anything, but I hear definitely an enemy. Dinosaur. Smell me, eh? Typical problem. I can't get out of the water. Oh, come on. No. I don't know. She will not get out of the water sometimes. No matter what I do, what I try. Boss scenario for this problem. This is really the worst case now. Both sides. <laughs> Requires. See, there's obviously a problem. Early version. This version is not available for everyone. It's so is this is <coughs> oh, this climbing thing here. Look at that. What time is this ape here? There's nothing here? Mm. Can I climb up there? I still don't know how to make use of this. Water. There must be more here. <sighs> Hold on. I see more or less. No, please, not again. Again. It's not climbing out of the water. <sighs> I should wait for more updates. There must be a solution for this problem. Oh, so there is still a recenter button. Oh. Now I need to save now. Every time when I enter water, I need to save. And now, it's everywhere now. I don't know. Maybe I missed something here. Hmm. And maybe a second pass, or maybe I can climb up somewhere and then on side. And that is the reason why I never play this game. Eh? It's not obvious enough. I need to go. But I was everywhere here. I can climb up there, but there's uh, nothing there. Yeah. I'm way too casual. I have a compass! Oh, uh, okay. I see myself so I get tired of this shit. <sighs> oh, thank you. Wow. That's now. It's a big dino. So I was supposed to ride them. 
Oh, where are you? Fuck. I have to go now. Where can I put those wheels? Inside. Oh, I forget to save. Oh, it doesn't matter. Moment. <sighs> yeah, there's nothing to explore anymore. Maybe I can go back? Yeah, I can. Let's watch. Oh, it's fortune. And now I can't get out of here, right? I'm not sure if I should save now, man. I'm supposed to go back, man. I'm not sure. Clumsy. Yeah. Hold on. Oh. The game definitely wants you not to go back. Oh. Um, oh. I was wrong. Oh, I was totally wrong, guys. <gasps> and damn, we need an extra time. See? There's something there. Oh, this is hard punishment. Whoa. I can save? No, I think in the original version you can't save anywhere. That means you need to do this over and over again. Climbing up here over and over again. And I can just save, you know. And that makes me so confident now that I will do it by the first attempt. Yeah! Save now! <laughs> uh, you can also broke your save game easy with this not save game quick save. Uh, not sure, PC? Maybe PC has quick save feature. What I just mean is you're, you're in a trap where you die and you accidentally save in the right moment, you will fuck up your save game. But there are also official save games here, yeah, the entire levels here. Yeah. Wow. This is a metroidvania, man. Uh, not really. But just uh, backtracking. Crazy how I underestimate this. Well, I would. One more, one more. Whoa! This looks really weird, man. Was well, there no way to do this better? Look closer, look. Video game history, my man. Look at that. I missed the waterfall. Oh. <laughs> He's supposed to go here. Take a closer look, man. Moving textures. It's actually textures that move. Little gifts. The one needs, uh, you know, the gift uh, fights. Same shit. Houston, we got the problem now again. And get out of the water. Shotgun is here. I see the shotgun, but I can't take it. Because I can't get out of the water again. I'm for bad. I need to do this shit again. Oh no, I don't save. Oh, stupid. Guys. Maybe I can get out of the water again. Look, that's how it's supposed Is she really holding with both hands? Shotgun. So the ammunition for the shotgun is limited. The pistol is uh, unlimited. Good. Wow, okay. It's interesting. So you can't get up there, there's push your way. The last time I jumped directly on this platform, and there's no other way to get there. And really hit this weird moving textures here. We got the shotgun now. Medipack. pack. But I forget to save because. I'm scared that I don't get out of the water again. Oh! What? No. Wait. Water is gone. Okay. So I have really absolutely no idea now where to go next. But I get my shotgun. So we stop the water there. I, I, I pick up three wheels. And I'm back here now. So no progress at all. I'm back here. So this one door here is still closed. Stop it. My beginning where I spawn. By the way, I have a shotgun now, um, and absolutely no clue why I'm back here. There must be more. It was close. No, the last jump. See, did you miss the last jump? The most important one. Wow. Easy. Well, so, <laughs> make no sense, but maybe, just maybe. I have a shotgun now. Nothing else changed here. 
Yeah, another way here. Did I miss? Yeah, this is it for today, I guess. Or forever. Uh, we will see. Waiting for updates. I have a shotgun now, but can I do anything with the shotgun? To continue the game? The purpose? Yeah, every look at a uh, YouTube video. <laughs> That's what we do nowadays. I stuck here now on this fucking. I have no clue. Man, we found the shotgun. You were supposed to go back. And here are the wheels. To go back. You use the wheels. You get a shotgun. And then you're not able to make progress again. Uh, there's no, not an obvious way now. Nothing requires a shotgun to make progress. So. Maybe I'm just done. The day is over. And that's why I can't focus anymore. And if I would play this game tomorrow again with fresh mind, I would immediately count the way. Yeah. Bye.